60s, Stephen D'Souza is in London, Ontario. He's been following all of the developments uh, on the story. And so, Stephen, what struck you about that uh, news conference? Well, a number of things. Obviously, you heard the, uh, the RCMP say that there's a number of things they can't tell us because uh, it would compromise the investigation. But so there were some interesting things in what they didn't say. And uh, you heard a question there where they were asked if the RCMP are still continuing to search the remains in Algeria for other Canadians. And all the RCMP would say is that they are continuing to search and they really left it at that. So they did not really confirm or deny whether or not any other Canadians could be uh, in those remains because as we've been reporting, we know that there there was a fourth individual who went over with uh, Katsurabis and Medledge. What that fate of the individual was, we really don't know. And whether or not that individual took part in the attacks, we don't know. Uh, he did also say that uh, the investigation has been ongoing in that it predates the attack in January, goes back a number of months. But he would not say, though, if the RCMP, in fact, were tracking uh, Medledge and Katsurabis going back uh, for go how far back that was going on. And, that's interesting because we know from people here in London that uh, the RCMP was here back in January of last year talking to Muslim youth leaders and asking them about uh, the three. In fact, showing Muslim youth leaders their pictures to ask them where they were and, in fact, when they had left Canada. So uh, some information given, uh, not a lot, obviously. Uh, they did not talk about uh, Aaron Yoon, who we have confirmed was the third individual who went over. Uh, we can confirm, though, that he is in jail in Mauritania. Uh, he was in prison before the attack in Algeria, so it's not clear whether he was going to take part in that attack or even had any designs on taking part in that attack, but he has been in prison in Mauritania. Not sure for how long, but we do know that he is still there, uh, despite reports uh, to the contrary, and in fact, despite reports from his family who say that he is, uh, he is currently free. So uh, some interesting, interesting things said there by the RCMP, but still a lot left unsaid, especially about who a possible recruiter could have been, who is the person that convinced these uh, marginalized and you know, radicalized youth to leave their homes here in London and go overseas. Uh, we have heard from sources that it is somebody that they're looking at in southwestern Ontario, but they haven't given us any more detail, of course, because they don't want to compromise the investigation, so no more details there. But nevertheless, some interesting things coming out of that news conference. Something we'll continue to follow along with you, Stephen. Thank you. The CBC's Stephen D'Souza in London, Ontario.